Hello, this is hello. This is Jen from the from the McHenry Public Library. Welcome to Q-Tip Daisy Craft. This is an example of what we're going to be making today. There are some craft kits still available for pickup at the McHenry Public Library that you can pick up via curbside while supplies last. So, what do you need to make this fun craft? Well, in our craft kit, we have some Play-Doh. We have a sheet of blue paper. We have a pipe cleaner. And then we have some Q-tips that are cut in half. Uh, okay, I think I got everything out of the bag. So now we are going to take a little bit of this yellow Play-Doh and roll it into a ball. So now we have our ball of Play-Doh and then we're gonna slightly smash it so it's a little circle. And then we are going to use our cut up Q-tips and put them in the side of our Play-Doh and these white Q-tips are going to be the petals of our daisy. You can put in as many petals as you want because this is going to be your daisy. And there's plenty of Play-Doh in the kits so you can make multiple daisies. You'll just maybe need to get a few more Q-tips cut in half, which I'm sure mom and dad will be happy to help you with. Okay, so I have the flower of my daisy. And then... I am going to use my pipe cleaner. I am going to twist a little bit of it to the side so I can form a nice leaf. And then I am going to stick the green pipe cleaner into a portion of the Play-Doh so that it now has a green stem. Now it's up to you if you put the leaf and also the next step is completely up to you. You can try to put this in the vase, though it may be a little bit top heavy with the Play-Doh, or like I did in my first one, you can glue it on the sheet of blue paper that is in your bag. So I'm gonna glue this one onto the blue paper. So you will need some glue. So I'm just gonna put some glue. I'm gonna put some more towards the top and then a line down for the stem. Good thing glue dries clear. Okay. You're just gonna wanna press it down and it is gonna take a little bit while, a little bit of time for the glue to dry, but this is what your craft will look like. And you can add as many daisies to your piece of paper as you want. And you can even, if you have some green currant at home, draw some grass along the bottom. So, Thank you for joining me for this fun craft. And don't forget to check out our events calendar for other fun virtual crafts that are coming up. And also, have you signed up for our summer reading program? It's not too late. Sign up, log your reading, and participate in community challenges, and enter your raffle tickets into some fun drawings. Thank you. Have an absolutely wonderful day from the McHenry Public Library.